I commend you on your successful research on the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next one is to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Welcome back. I'll let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Okay. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. You murdered him. You're a dirty, rotten liar. Now, I've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy fingers on the island the lord used to call his home. We've all received word from both the security corps and the supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost like while ghosts. gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Did I read that right? Normally, I entrust this to yeah. our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. Oh, because lord seat. It's like a throne. Got it. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. It's more of a title thing. No. Yeah, like a subliminal. Not like an actual like, seat. Yeah, like literal. Uh, I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. I like that name. You're a beautiful lady. Oh, and I... Stop simping. Oh, and I know this must be a Billy Wilder in... I'm not simping for here. Dropped into. I'm simping for that redhead. Uh, Rizu or whatever. Sprained ankle lady. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lord Phantom. Just makes it easier for me to catch up to her. Why? She sprained her ankle. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The implications. <laughs> because of the implications. Yeah. <laughs> We're out in the woods. You got a sprained ankle. You need my help. <laughs> See where I'm going with this. You scratch my balls. I'll scratch your ankle. <laughs> yeah, I have a sprained ankle. That's the first thing I need it to be itched. I mean, because of the cast, maybe I could say the that. implications. The, because the implications. As I said that, that's what I thought. Of. Should have said implications. But uh, I read this. Continue. Oh, well, these cuttings are too long to get distracted. <laughs> Indeed, Lord Phantom quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his cock kindness firsthand. I'm. Old. Oh, I hate Angry. you. Go away. This area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mire lands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. Oh, and we cut my hair. Oh, yeah, and yeah, it's white. Look at it. Unless you lose a third star, you have to get a star. <laughs> Work on such research tasks, ready yourself, and help with any requests that may have been posted on the professor's All right, pause. Pause. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, uh, uh. If you have progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Check out this drift loom. He's he's pretty cool. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yay, three stars. Woo! Now we're Sergeant Pokemon Trainer. With this, you officially attain the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use great off with stripes. I don't. Well, you remember. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon yeah, up to, to level 40. Woo! And your rewards will be generous. Have this as well as a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Hyper Potion. Nope, Great Balls. Continue to dedicate yourself to being a bitch. With your current task, you should be rank. You should be capable of braving the Cobalt. Whatever. You know your mission to investigate Fire Spit Island. I'm going to spit some fire. In your island? Bee box for me, Robert. Oh. Eggs. Bacon. <laughs> biscuit. That's butter a, toast. That's our song. And we're sticking to it. Breakfast in the morning, but it's spelled like the sad morning. Hell yeah. What's sad morning spelled like? Oh. The M-O-U. When like, people are crying. Yeah, morning. Okay, I'm smelling what you're... St- and we're definitely stepping in something smelly. <laughs> Why didn't a guard stop you? I would. This isn't. This isn't technically leaving the village. Oh, I didn't know what the fuck this was. I thought you were. What the hell's this? Oh, Ooh, is this God. a prelude beach or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just a little bit confused as fuck. What was happening? You can't even ride my deer. <gasps> a whisper. 
A wisp, a wispy wisp. Do the wisps only come out at night? That one he found on the mountain, was it sunny out? I can't remember. I can't even, I think it was. It was like three hours ago. Oh, uh, that's not true. Five wisps. It was left. 25 minutes ago, though. One second. No, it wasn't. It was like 15. Uh, looking that up real quick. Okie dokie. I mean, this part can get cut out anyway. Ah, if it is in Lord Phantom. Oh, we're back, by the way. Hi. Those, I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Oh, this is a Cleaver guy, right? Yeah. Fire Spit Island. Oh, Fire Spit Island. Perhaps run into our P Polina? She's in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you involve some Pokemon. You know, look further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the survey course want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, the stones you find throughout ESU will help. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and underestimate how important to help grind this fact into you. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Grift Peggles. Affect the effort, raise the effort level for one of Pokemon's stats. Grift Gravel. And you should, and should you want stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Cool, there's no room. No room. The fuck there did you pay for? Be. I didn't pick anything up. Yeah. He paid for nothing then, I guess, because it didn't increase shit. God. I'm Spire Bear Spit. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god, it's not full of fire. It's Angela. There's the moon. Sun and? Nope. Cobalt Coastlands. <laughs> oh, the Cobalt Coastlands is simply lovely corner of Asui. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Wire types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Yeah, I can't. Now, I'm sure you're just excited as I am to research a serious Pokemon. But let's not forget that you're a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Wardens, in fact. Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Polina of the Pearl Clan and Iskan of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps we'll be some help as you dig into those curious occurrences. And we're back again. Guess who's back? Fucking Aridia, where the fuck her name is. Her and her fucking ass. Stupid ass. And her f ass flute. What is she going to summon? A carrot cake. Ooh. A fudge round. I wish I bought some of those. It's not really good right now. I do love the flute. It feels as if the tunes carry to the very ends of space. But I am here and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. I am Cindy, man. <gasps> Glucione. Evie, go fight your older brother. <laughs> He's going to give you the cold shoulder. Is that a wild Evie? What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> are you going to catch it? I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, he can't. Can if I just beat up the fucking yeah, beat her up real quick. Oh, and he's fighting too. Evie. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Here, cross go. Go, you little beetle man. It's a woman. Be beetle woman? You can tell by the horn. Oh, yeah, it's a heart. Yep. No, quick attack. Rock smash. It's clobbering time. Now let me catch this wild Eve. I swear to God, if it makes you kill it, just because you're in a fucking... It's so stupid. Gain experience, I guess. Yeah, but you wasted an Eevee. Oh, How about you leave Heracross alone, Eevee? Uh, That's that. it. You're getting a rock thrown on your face. Bark. Battle decided. Battle decapitated. <gasps> you cut the Eevee's head off. Heracross wants blood. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. You are stupid. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Do it. Bitch. Whoop. whoop. All right. With you, I think with you, I can... Something. Frank. Ah. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander. But in truth, I'm a weak little bitch. I spill. I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a ward in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. Well, she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise Cesar to fill the late lord's empty seat either. I'm team Diamond Clan, so fuck off. Yeah, no one likes you. Some people started to question her worthiness to be warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pro Clan. We strove to surpass one another. But she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late lord. With double your strength, I think our lord, late lord's heir would, and if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left, you should find a slope leading up to it. Yes. Down and to the left. Everything you want. <gasps> glam meow. Everything you glam meow is in the... Don't put glam meow in a box. That's rude. He's got a curly tail. Maybe it's that bitch. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. So you need at least two glam meows. What? One for you and one for him. Oh, yes. Hate him. Even though it turns into a fat cat. Per ugly. How have I sent you that one meme that was, uh, they were like, oh, I found this cute kitty, kitty Pokemon. I'm gonna name it Glam Meow. Then it evolved. He was like, she was like, uh, oh, I wonder what I'm gonna call you. And then it scratched her. And then she's like, per ugly. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's gonna be an alpha per ugly. That would be cool. I want a big old fat cat. There's a lot of Pokemon that are here. What the fuck's that thing? I can't the see. The rupees are over there, and there's a tingle. Didn't someone want? Yeah, they wanted a vine. They had a fruit that had vines on it, or something. Blue vines. That was level thirty. Oh, this is a high level area. Never mind. Scarupi. Is that a? An alpha, not Scaroopy, the evolved form of it. Forget, yes. Forget his name. Yes, it is. That's kind of cool. I enjoy a Scaroopy. He's a big boy. And there's a butterfly bitch. It's Mothra. Ugh. Oh, you fucking whore. <laughs> I guess it's still the entire time you're walking up to it. With precision. Sniped. She's a cunt. He. He. These can only be boys. Oh. It's female form of moth. Wormadam. Oh, jeez. Oh, they've spotted you. 
And now you're an enemy of the state. Yeah, yeah. War crimes and all that, we know how it goes. Oh, I guess I should probably do the mission. That's stupid. I mean, it's a new area. It's cool to see what Pokemon be afoot. I agree, but I can do that off camera. Maybe I like looking at the Pokemon. But yeah. Yeah. There's a fucking flying bitch. Yeah, did you see it glitching out? Yeah, because it's too far away. Oh, it got closer. Yep. Yep, went out, went out oh, of the render look distance. At him, look at him. <laughs> Low res flying Pokemon. I love them. Hey, it's beautiful. No one cares about you, though. Yeah, beautiful, Fred. Fuck out. Trash form. God, there's so fucking many of them. I wonder what's on the beach. Well, we know the Skorupis are a part of the beach. If there's not an alpha fucking Mothra, I'm gonna be fucking shocked. I just wanna be helpful. Oh, aren't you sure can remember who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of Apom stole my pack full of goods. <gasps> Monkeys. They would darn leave me on a chase, almost like they've been teasing me. I haven't. Got no okay. them. I read the wrong line. <laughs> That's why I was confused. Mostly used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my back my pack back from those Apom? Those silly little monkeys. Hey, uh Stantler? Yes. Two Stantlers. And some monkeys. In a pear tree? Yeah. Ooh go. Oh, you gotta give him chase. That Stanley looked very irritated that you were standing next to him. Double team him, go! <laughs> They're cute little monkeys. What type are they? Normal. Ah! There's a Pikachu. Where? Where? Look at that. Here, get in the ball. Automatically catches it. They've decided to choose violence. I am Evie. And I think you're almost dead. Oh god, the mud ball. Ah, oh, you avoided it. You have to kill him. I want the monkeys. I also would like to have the monkeys. Hopefully there's more in the area. Go ahead across. He's my main main. You yeah, will go fuck yourself. Well, this girl is our main man. Well, this girl's on fire. Don't catch her on fire. Bop, 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 bop. He has a nasty plot. Oh, God. He's groping her. He's rubbing her. The armpit antenna. Oh, he's a kinky little fucker. Double hit. He adopted a hard hitting stance. He's no longer obscured. Why are you gonna hit? You've just been hard hitting this whole time. You haven't smacked him once. Strong style. Time to eat your ass. Almost. When it hits you, it's gonna fucking hurt. Uh, now he's obscured. She's obscured. 
Well, you're gonna get fucking rock smashed, nerd. Defeated the Ambi Palm. Yay! Eevee, Eevee leveled up. And Heracross Master to move. Woo! Whoa, whoa, I see you chase down the A-Palm. And my goods are all safe, thank goodness. Oh, you might be able to keep one. How can I repay you? Let me think. Let us keep a fucking A-Palm. I don't think they're really his. Hi. What's got into you looking so meek all of a sudden? Are you actually feeling remorseful? Hi, hi. Oh, all right, all right. No hard feelings. Just stop with the sad look. It makes me feel bad. Yeah. Hi. I just hope you learned a lesson. No more pranks, please. Oh, come on. You can wait till I was done. Scroll down, go. We're monkeys. Yeah, this is our nature. <laughs> I, I. No monkey business. I hate you. They took my panap berries. I was saving those for later. Just goes to show you can't let your guard down around Pokemon. Scatterbang and a medium candy. You should have used it. What a nerd. Uh, we will see y'all next time. All right, bye. <laughs>